Cheers guys! Now I've put in the power supply into this um, case which is my German made or at least German engineered Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 11 uh, with 850 watt. Um, as you might see I have plugged that into the power. I've turned the switch to to off actually. It should be off now, um, but um, as you might know, if you move, uh, if you walk across um, carpet or touch a cat or something like that, you might get electrostatics, um, electrostatic streams uh, on you. And if you touch some of the um, microchip stuff um, or things on your motherboard or anything, these. Uh, electric uh, currents might actually damage components on your thing. So one of the ways to be sure that that doesn't happen is to ground yourself. You can do that either with a grounding wristband that you um, put to something very large and metallic or into the um, into the, the grounding point of a, of a power socket. Or you can just plug in your, your power supply and then touch the metal of it. Um, to get rid of any um, any electrical currents that you might have on you, um, just to be sure. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've pulled the um, power cables um, through this thing. Uh, one of the good things about the Dark Power Pro is actually that it has a modular um, cable system. So if you want to have a look at it, uh, maybe you can see it in the screen. There are all these um, connectors here and I can decide how many I need and all the cables that I don't need because I don't have that many components. All these cables are going to stay out of the case. Um, with, the, um, with the Dark Power Pro there have come a lot of cables and not all of these cables have to go into the PC. If you do not buy a modular power supply you're going to have to deal with all these cables. That's something I do not want, so just plug in the cables that I want and leave the rest out of it. Um, that's it for now. In the next um, step I have to put in the, um, the motherboard um, screws that keep the, keep the distance between the motherboard and the case. That is going to happen. You can see maybe that there are little um, little letters on it. So A stands for ATX, M for micro ATX and I for mini ITX. Um, these are different sizes for your motherboards. We're going to have an ATX uh, motherboard and depending on the size of your motherboard you have to put um, the screws onto different in different positions so that your motherboard sits on this nice and firm. Going to put in the screws but then we're actually going to um, do stuff on the motherboard before we put it in because the um, big Dark Rock Pro um, CPU cooler that I'm going to use is actually a real pain to install inside the case. So I'm going to install that on top of the motherboard and then we're going to put the motherboard in which should make this a bit easier I hope. Dark Rock Pro is really a bitch to install. I'm not looking forward to it but it's a great cooler so I'll put up with it, I think. So see you later, guys.